Thank the Lord the international break is finished. Will Saka and Martinelli be fit for the Bournemouth game? Who plays fullback? Does Mikel Moreno play central midfield or do we keep the same starting 11? There's plenty of talking points heading into the Bournemouth game as thank the Lord the international break is over and now we can focus on the Premier League. Big up everybody tuned in. People deluded. I'm back again. First things first, make sure you're hitting the like button and you're subscribing and you're turning on your notification bell. Now, throughout this video, as we look towards Bournemouth, I want to consider the journey Arsenal have gone on so far in the Premier League. I want to look ahead to the Bournemouth game and beyond that, I want to touch on some other talking points connected to Arsenal Football Club. So stick around, get strapped, make sure you're ready and let's crack on. As we look ahead to the Bournemouth game and Areola's men, it's going to be a difficult test at their place. We sit third with five wins and two draws and we have 17 points. As you can see on screen, some of the inner working statistics suggest we're almost identical as we was last season. You know, I do believe this is almost a full circle moment for Mikel Arteta. Some of you lot remember his very first game as Arsenal manager was against Bournemouth. Look how the lineup has changed dramatically since then. Going into the game, undoubtedly, the first question for every Arsenal fan would be, is Saka and Martinelli fit? They both picked up knocks during the international break. In my opinion, I think Saka's injury is more of a load related. Martinelli's, I'm a bit unclear. Naturally, I'm a bit more optimistic in Saka being fit than Martinelli. And if both players are fit to start, who? how many minutes do they have in the tank? If they're not fit enough to start, who plays ahead of them? Do you bring in Raheem Sterling or Gabriel Jesus? I also want to focus on fullback. As you know, we've got some great options. There are some rumours that Tommy Yasu is currently still nursing an injury or better yet has had a setback. We're unclear on Zinchenko. Going into this international break, there were question marks over Jury and Timber and also Benjamin White. Now, I would love to know you lot's answers. For me, I am more than happy to see Timber and Califuri Personally, I think Benjamin White should come back into the side at right back and shift Timber to left back. Is it time for Mikel Marino to start? As you know, Mikel Arteta has got to not necessarily chop and change his side, but has got to start rotating. You know, Mikel Moreno got some minutes and was exposed to minutes, obviously playing for Spain. You know, when you go back to the PSG game, which was technically his debut, you know, in his 26 minutes, only Ricardo Calafuri had more tackles than him. Then you look at the 29 minutes he played against Southampton. Only Thomas Partey did more in that regard. Um, in that same 3-1 victory over the Saints people, he was also joint for the number of blocks. Now, when we look at Mikel Moreno, Mikel Arteta has spoken about his intelligence on the field. We all know he's a Spanish midfielder. He can play as an 8 or as a 6 on either side. Indirectly, he can play as a 10, as you would have seen for Spain. I expect Thomas Partey and Declan Rice to start, but you could argue in terms of a tenacious Premier League midfield, um, Mikel Moreno is well suited, whether that's going to be with Declan Rice or Partey, or if that would be a kind of dynamic trio. I think it would have the dynamism, the aerial threat, the defensive nous, and a collective ingredients in terms of splitting the lines. Although that would mean either Trossard moves to the left or he is dropped out of the side, is it now time for Mikel Marino to get, be given his first start against Bournemouth? Now, when you look at the Bournemouth game, people, it marks the start of a lot of games between the October and November period for Arsenal Football Club. Bournemouth is a nasty ground to go to. It's almost a throwback kind of stadium of what you'd expect in England. The fans are on top of you. Ariola's men play great football. They've got great individual players, some of which have actually been linked with Arsenal Football Club. Bournemouth have actually struggled against top half sides of late. Each of their last 10 Premier League wins coming against opponents in the bottom half of the table. They're currently winless in 11 games against the top six people since beating Manchester United in December 3-0. Currently, Areola's men sit 13th in the Premier League. They have three defeats from four games and that's left them with just five points above the relegation zone after seven games in which we hope to continue their bad form. Arsenal, in contrast, have won 10 of their 12 Premier League away games this calendar year. The only two times we have failed to win have both come against Manchester City in March and then in September. 
Bournemouth have lost 11 of their 14 Premier League games against Arsenal, although three exceptions have been in the home games, people. You look at the 3-3 in 2017, the 2-1 in January of 2018 and the 1-1 draw in 20 of 2019. Now, speaking for myself only, people, you can only look at what's in front of you. But with us having Liverpool next week, I need that insurance policy against Bournemouth. I expect to win. Our away form has been great. I actually prefer in the Premier League being away from the Emirates as much as I love my club because we're a bit more professional. In Simply Put, go out there, get three points, get the insurance policy heading into the Liverpool game and let's start amassing some wins and getting some momentum, which was obviously put to a halt where the international break is concerned. Now, for me, I am torn. I do believe the same team permitted fitness-wise um, that's been winning games should go out there. I'm probably going to change my mind, people. But for me, I'm going to go with David Raya, Saliba, Gabriel. I'm going to go with Benjamin White and I'm going to put Timber to the left hand side now we know Calafuri and Martinelli have a great partnership and I'm indirectly killing it I just feel with the Semenos and Sinisteras and all and Kirkes and all of these great players in, in 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 the final third for Bournemouth I think we've got to mitigate against that Calafuri has all of my confidence I just want defense first kind of mentality so I would go as I said David Raya, Saliba, Gabriel, Timber, Benjamin White Declan Rice, Partey, I would keep Trossard there. And then I would go with Saka, Martinelli and Kai Havertz. Although you look at our front three, Kai Havertz going into this international period had a knee injury. Saka's obviously come off against Greece as well, people. Martinelli's had a knock for Brazil. So I do wonder if all three are fit enough to start and how long have they got in the tank, people? Which raises the question... Do you bring Mikel Moreno into the side and put Trossa out there? Do you start a Gabriel Jesus and or Raheem Sterling? You'd imagine when Mikel Arteta has his press conference, he will answer all of these questions for us people. But yeah, we've got a difficult run of games to come. I think we've earned the right to be confident. Winning, losing and drawing are all variables that can happen in football. But I think Arsenal Football Club and our fans can be filled with confidence wherever we're playing, wherever we are, we can do a thing. If we want to beat Manchester City to a Premier League title, these are the games we have to win don't forget to let me know your thoughts like comment and subscribe as usual appreciative to have you lot tuned in we're trying to get to seventy thousand people i'm not just saying this for no reason so like comment subscribe turn on your notifications leave a comment after people can we get to 100 likes on the vid most importantly stay safe stay blessed peace